First, cut open the tape on top of the box. Open up the top lids and remove all inks to check if you have all the cartridges. You should have a single cartridge for cyan, yellow, magenta, black, two white ink cartridges, and one cartridge for the cleaning solution. Remove all accessories from the box on top. Close up the top lid and lift up from the bottom to remove the top portion of the box. Remove all excess cardboard and slightly lift the printer to remove all styrofoam. Unveil the printer by removing the plastic cover. Make sure to utilize three people to move the printer to its new location. Look for the grips at the bottom of the printer which are all labeled with arrows. You may encounter clients that do not have entrances that are large enough to accommodate the full size of the Epson. In this case, you will have to tilt the printer and carry it in sideways. When doing so, make sure to have the left side where the Epson logo is to be positioned on top. This is because the print head carriage sits on the right side. Once the printer has been relocated, look for blue tape and remove from all areas of the printer, including the top lid, ink cartridge bay, platen, and printer head. When removing the blue tape from the printer head, make sure to have one hand on the printer head to prevent any strain on the head unit. Next, remove the metal locking unit from the base of the platen. Take the waste tank and place it within the metal base. Place cuts in the top of the lid of the waste tank, large enough for the tubing to gain access. When inserting the tube into the waste tank, be sure to not allow the tube to go below the yellow line. Find the tweezers provided and place within the cartridge bay in the area provided. Take the tube clips and place them in their appropriate locations as shown here. Find the Y-shaped tube Attach the tubing as shown, then clip the tube to the clips that you installed earlier. Now attach the other end of the tube as shown. Lastly, place the end of the last tube into the waste tank. Now remove all ink cartridges from their plastic enclosures. Take the two white inks and shake them for a minimum of 10 seconds. On the inside of each cartridge bay lid, you will see labels that show which cartridge goes into which slot. Place each cartridge into their appropriate locations and press inward until you feel a click. Plug in the power line both into the printer and the minimum 110 volt outlet. Make sure all the tubes are connected securely, now press the power button. Select your language by pressing OK. Then set the date and time using the arrow keys. Once complete, press OK. Keep units to feet and inches. Press the button shown to bring the platen outward. Press OK to verify waste tank is empty. Press OK again. 
printer will ask you to shake the white ink every time the printer turns on. Here you can just press OK since you have already shaken the white ink cartridges. Press OK to begin the ink charge. You will be prompted to install the charging unit shortly after. Find the charging unit shown, remove this item, and replace it with the charging unit. Align the two nozzles shown with the two holes on the printer. Make sure the unit is securely installed and then press OK. Close the lid and press OK again. Ink charging will now begin and will take approximately 30 minutes. Once complete, lift up the lid and remove the charging unit by pressing the blue tab inward and pulling the unit out. Now place the original unit back as shown, press OK, then close the lid and press OK again. The printer will begin a cleaning cycle which will take approximately 10 minutes. Now you will begin a nozzle check. Press the maintenance button as shown, press the right arrow key to proceed to nozzle check, then press OK. The printer will advise you to place a white paper on the platen, but you can print directly on the platen and then wipe the ink away once complete. You will look for any breakage in the lines. If there is no breakage, you may proceed to head alignment. If there is breakage similar to what is shown here, press the maintenance button again, click to head cleaning. Click to selected nozzles and select the colors that have breakage. In this instance, you would click both the white inks. Click proceed and always utilize light cleaning to prevent excess waste of ink. Now proceed to head alignment. You do not have to load a shirt and instead print directly on the acrylic platen and place the platen height to 1. Press the right arrow to enter menu. Click into printer setup. then click into head alignment. Click on extra small, small, medium, large. Click OK to proceed. Press OK again to begin printing. You are looking for the most solid box that has the least amount of breakage. Now input the number that best correlates with the solid box for both cyan and black. Repeat steps to perform one more head alignment. Once complete, you are ready to begin printing.